came up with people who wanted to, so like I said, the writers I work with identify as feminists. They want to include women. They are excited about the voices of an Indian woman, even if they are white men, the way that I'm also excited about female voices in my writing staff and to like our stand comedians and all sorts of, but it is, it is, it has been challenging. I think one of the things that's been helpful to me is that I try not to think that much about the fact that I'm a leader. <coughs> so many people will look at me and be like, you're different than everyone else. But I can't sort of think about it. I can't like, think about my legacy or whatever because it stops me from being productive. Mm -hmm. And it's a distraction. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to deny who I am because it's, it's so important to me, but I can't rely on it. Right. And that's just been something that I think is so important because people will, tr will try to make you feel like you're other. I mean, I felt that constantly, people assuming I'm not funny in New York coming up as a stand-up, or coming up and trying to do improv and stuff. People will think you're not funny because of the way that you look. Mm -hmm. So you have to just be like, I'm not gonna like think in this in these terms at all. Like I'm right. just gonna ignore it. And I think that's my advice to people is that you can get so hung up on being like, am I the victim of the situation? You can be like, I'm in charge of it. And um, it's like, I, I, I think that that's been why I've been able to be successful is like my singular, crazy Richard Nixon like focus. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, cool president's effect. Cool. Who is focused? And which is why I take everything. Yeah, he does. He does. Why I take tapes of all interactions. There's the gaps. Do you take the right Oh my god, no. Oh god. So, yeah. We would like to make some of those from Mary Claire. We would go to prison. <laughs> You'd be in jail. Okay. In the, I think we're, it's time for questions.